the TV-7117 ST-01 aircraft engine, which is a member of the TV-7117 power plant family, exhibited its dependability during flight tests of the IL-114-300. The Klimov power plant is a turboprop and turboshaft engine series that was developed by JSC Klimov in Russia. It was certified in 1997, and its origins can be traced back to the modernization of Soviet-era engines to enhance their reliability, fuel efficiency, and service life. The engine's modular design enables the field replacement of its nine modules, thereby substantially reducing repair costs and delay. The engine is equipped with an electronic hydromechanical control system that optimizes operational precision and efficiency. The S variant was initially developed for the Ilyushin L-114 regional commuter aircraft and was subsequently made available for modern Russian turboprops, including the IL-112 and IL-114. The version V turboshaft engine was added into the engine family to power rotary wing aircraft such as the Mil Mi-38. Industrial power facilities and marine drives for high-speed boats also use this version. Russian facilities that manufacture these engines include Klimov JSC in St. Petersburg, Chernyshev JSC in Moscow, and Baranov JSC in Omsk. The TV-7117 family offers numerous variations tailored to specific application needs. The SM and ST turboprop variant implements full-authority digital electric control FADEX, systems to enhance reliability and maintainability. The turboprop variant features an encapsulated centrifugal wheel, a Klimov patented innovation that boosts power output by 10%. Upgrades for helicopters such as the Mi-28 and KF-50 KF-52 are supported by the VK variant, while the V and VM turboshaft version is used to power helicopters like the Mi-38. There is also a naval derivative, the TV-7117K. The engine's sophisticated design is underscored by its technical specifications. It is equipped with annular combustors and a two-stage axial flow turbine, in addition to a single-shaft axial flow centrifugal compressor with five axial stages and one centrifugal stage. It exhibits an exceptional level of efficiency and performance, with a maximal power output of 2,800 horsepower and a fuel consumption rate of 199 grams per horsepower per hour during takeoff. Currently, there are four primary varieties of engines used in aviation. The ST-01 engine, which was certified in December 2022, is specifically engineered for the upgraded Ilyushin L-114-300 turboprop. This cutting-edge engine, which is coupled with the AB-112114 propeller and is equipped with a FADEC, BARC 65SM electronic control system, yields increased thrust and improved fuel efficiency. Flight tests can now be conducted at altitudes of up to 7,600 meters as the Federal Air Transport Agency of Russia has granted permission for their operation. A pre-production program is currently in progress to provide six engines for three aircraft as part of the IL-114-300 development. Mass production is anticipated to commence after successful testing. The TVRS-44 Ladoga regional aircraft is intended to be equipped with the ST-02 variant. Currently, this engine undergoes rigorous certification and testing, with operational deployment scheduled for the near future. It is a derivative of the ST family that has been optimized for regional aviation applications in order to increase efficiency and reliability. In helicopter applications, the Mil Mi-38 is powered by the V turboshaft engine. This variant has effectively completed flight testing and certification and is currently in commercial operation. The engine is employed by the Mi-38 for various purposes, such as cargo transport and offshore operations, and it benefits from its advanced features and extended service life. Another variant, the VK, is designed for military helicopters, including the Mi-28 and K-50 and K-52. Its support for enhancements to these platforms guarantees improved performance and reliability in demanding operational environments. The TV-7117 family's operational status underscores its certification and deployment milestones. The version S, a first-generation engine, has accumulated approximately 30,000 hours of operational time. Conversely, the ST variants, a second-generation engine, are in the process of transitioning to serial production.
The reliability of helicopter variants, such as the version V, has been confirmed by Russian aviation authorities, and they are currently in active use on platforms like the Mi-38. Last year, new Mi-38 helicopters, which were endowed with version VI engines, successfully flew 6,500 kilometers from Kazan to Magadan, despite the extreme temperatures of minus 40 degrees, the ST variants, a second-generation engine, are in the process of transitioning to serial production. There are numerous Western equivalents to the Klimov TV-7-117 power plant family that fulfill comparable functions in helicopters and aircraft. These engines are similar in terms of power output, efficiency, and application versatility, with some variations in design philosophy and market integration. The Pratt & Whitney Canada PW100 series is a notable equivalent to the S and ST variants for fixed-wing aircraft. Regional aircraft, including the ATR-42 and 72 and Bombardier-8, are powered by the PW100 series, which boasts sophisticated electronic control systems, high reliability, and modular construction, similar to the Russian engine. The Honeywell TPE-331, which is used in aircraft such as the Dornier-228, and Beechcraft King Air series is another comparable engine. Similar to the Russian engines, these Western engines aim to optimize fuel efficiency and durability in regional and utility aviation. The Safran Arden 3G turboshaft engine is a close equivalent to the V and VM variants in rotary wing platforms. Helicopters such as the HAL Dhruv and Airbus Helicopters H175 are powered by the Arden 3G which provides comparable fuel efficiency and power output. Another significant Western equivalent is the General Electric T-700 engine family, which is used to power military helicopters such as the Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk and the Boeing AH-64 Apache. Designed for military helicopters such as the Mi-28 and KF-50 and K-52, the T-700 is similar to the VK variant. Although Russian and Western engines share modular designs, Sophisticated control systems, e.g. FADEC, and high power-to-weight ratios, Western engines frequently benefit from broader global certification standards and larger production scales. Furthermore, Western engines are more extensively integrated into international aviation markets than their Russian counterparts, which are designed to meet domestic requirements and platforms. Now, do you think Russia has got this engine right? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.